Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Cloud cover has settled in across the entire Arkham Mist and we'll continue to deal with the cloud cover as we go throughout the course of today. Temperatures hadn't been too bad. We've been holding out in the mid-50s, so you just need a light jackass heading out the door, but you won't need any for long. Temperatures are expected to warm up, but I would definitely say keep the umbrella handy, it, mainly for later on this afternoon. We're not tracking anything right now on Doppler radar. We are currently dry across the entire Arkham Mist, but dew points are up and the radar, of course, uh, picking up on some light green further down towards the southwest. You can see here at the bike uh, tower camera in West Monroe, the cloud cover in the background and temperatures still in the mid 50s. It's 58 degrees at the Monroe Airport. Dew points mid 50s as well. Winds are currently calm just out of the south. We were in the 60s up to the north at 61 in Texarkana. We're right at 59 in Monticello, 54 El Dorado and Ruston, also mid 50s along the I-49 corridor. Dew points also mid 50s. We could see some of these rise to the lower 60s in South Arkansas where the best chances for some thunderstorm development will potentially occur. But elsewhere, if you're still in the 50s, mainly some scattered showers will be most likely what you'll see, especially along and south of I-20. Winds will stay mainly calm today, but they could pick up a little bit later on tonight, become a bit breezy still out of the south, and then becoming breezy tomorrow with the passing of that cold front. As catch out the bus stop this morning, like I said, light jacket, and of course, they're going to want that umbrella to kind of stay handy as some scattered showers and the potential for a few thunderstorms pop up as we hit lower sediments for daytime highs. Now, for your weekend planner, if you got anything going on this weekend, it's going to be mostly dry. The clouds will start uh, kind of moving on out by tomorrow, but those temperatures, yeah, it's going to be cold. We're actually going to drop below average with the passing of that funnel boundary. We will see temperatures drop below freezing to the upper 20s Saturday night and could still be in the upper 20s even for Sunday night. But at least it's not going to be lasting long because as we go into next week, those temperatures, they will rebound starting on Monday. And then once we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, those temperatures, they will be warming up to the mid 60s. So it's going to kind of feel like an early spring. So we just got to get through the, uh, today and this weekend. So right now the current setup, we've got the warm front up to the north. At the surface, we've got warm moist air kind of being flown in and we have a very weak boundary layer currently across uh, Texas and northern Mexico allowing for some scattered showers to develop in the mid upper levels of the atmosphere. We do have a, a good flow of eastern Pacific moisture moving across Mexico and Texas that's being flown into the Arquimus and of course there's that deepening of that upper level trough in the atmosphere which is going to aid in the potential for some showers and thunderstorm development. The best chance for thunderstorms to occur right along the cold front in south Arkansas and right there along I-20. Right now instability is very very limited not really expecting any severe weather with these storms as they'll stay mostly patchy up to about scattered and then high pressure settles in as we go into the weekend with that cool cool and dry air mass that settles in kind of dropping those temperatures for the weekend. So if we finish out today, some showers and thunderstorms will be possible once we hit around 6, 7 o'clock and some of it can still linger by 9 to 10 o'clock right there along the I-20 corridor. Again, not expecting severe weather or even excessive rainfall. These uh, showers and thunderstorms will move on through rather quickly and then as we go into tomorrow, clouds will kind of start to decrease. Winds will still be a bit breezy out of the north and it's going to be blowing in that cold air. And as far as uh, rainfall totals, won't see really that much south of I-20, just kind of the traceable amounts of little patchy showers. The best chance for really rainfall accumulation is going to be where those thunderstorms develop along and north of I-20. We'll see how 71 degrees for this afternoon and tonight we'll see a low of about 36 degrees. Notice these temperatures, they kind of start cooling down and for tomorrow's high, we will be in the mid 40s as clouds will start decreasing and then later next week, temps will rebound starting on Monday, be warming up quite nicely to the mid 70s with some clouds that could return at least by next Thursday. Stay tuned right back. Watch NBC 10 News today.